I'm going to show you how I got this Monica Brown inspired red quick weave. So let's get started. As you guys can see, I'm starting out with my natural hair. All I did was wash and I'm going to add a little bit of scalp oil. I'm going to be using Blue Magic aka Bergamot. It's like a basic scalp oil. And I like to apply this very heavily to my scalp. Um, I just kind of just cake it on because I'm going to be doing four big French braids. And I'm going to be putting this on under a stocking cap. So I'm just going to make sure that the French braids are very flat. I'm doing French braids instead of corn rolls because as you guys know, French braids are flatter and corn rolls are a little bit thicker. So I'm going to do four French braids going straight back, nothing fancy. And then I'm going to apply my stocking cap. Now this hairstyle again is inspired by the singer Monica. I seen it on Instagram and I instantly fell in love with the hairstyle. So here are the French braids and now I'm going to apply a shower cap to protect my natural hair from the hair glue. And I'm also going to be applying a stocking cap. Um, I like to apply this on top of the shower caps so I can protect my hair from the glue. And I'm just gonna adjust my corn rolls or French braids to make sure that they are laying flat. The hair I'm gonna be using today is by Milky Way. It's their 27 piece, and this is in the color 40. I'm gonna be using the shortest hair first, which is the one at the bottom. And it also comes with a closure, which is really nice. And then later on, I found out that it actually had a shower cap and a stocking cap included in this kit. So that was good to know as well. So after I cut up all of the excess shower cap, I'm going to start to measure and place my tracks or my webs onto my stocking cap. Um, I just do it by feel. I do have a mirror on my lap, but at this point it's just I've been doing it for so long you can just kind of feel where the hair is going to go at this point from ear to ear it's going to go straight across and then when I get right above my ears I'm going to show you how I lay down my sideburns so we're just going to apply the hair and go from ear to ear straight across Do you guys see how hard I am concentrating on applying this glue to this hair? I was focused. So here I'm going to show you guys how I like to apply my sideburns when I'm doing quick weaves. I like to cut smaller pieces and apply those first. Um, I do this because I like that it looks a little more natural when I go to razor cut it later on and it's not as bulky and I just like the way it looks. Instead of the tracks going all the way from ear to ear, I like to have my sideburns going towards my face and not straight down. I'm going to continue to do this on both sides. I'm going to be adding about two to three pieces for my sideburn per side and then from there I'm going to continue to use that first 27 piece, the shortest length and I'm going to go from ear to ear until I get about to the top of my eyebrows and then I'm going to go ahead and use the next length.
Now, I want to warn you guys, you're going to see me looking to the right quite a bit because I was watching Criminal Minds as I was doing this, and this episode was out of control. So, I apologize in advance, but I couldn't stop watching it. I was like addicted. Now here's a little tip I want to share with you guys. Um, when I'm doing quick weaves, I like to use my eyebrows or the arch of my eyebrows as a starting point on where I'm going to be adding different lengths for the particular hairstyle. So this is the second bundle that was included in my 27 piece. And I like to start right where the highest point of my arch is and that's where I start to apply that second length. And I noticed that when I started doing this, I didn't have to cut the hair as much and I got the shape that I really liked. So that's a little tip. You guys can try that and see how it works for you guys. Now we are on our longest length, which is our last bundle in our 27 piece. And we are going to start to apply this in a circular motion. So we're going to close up all of that space. And I'm going to show you guys a really quick way to do this. What I do is I apply the glue directly to the cap. And that is one, because I have the plastic cap underneath it and it's not going to damage my hair. Also, it helps the glue dry faster and it makes it a lot easier to apply the hair. So I can do a quick weave doing this technique in about maybe 25, 30 minutes versus if I cut and apply glue to each piece, 45 minutes to an hour. And when you're doing a quick weave, the key is to do it quick. So that is how I got to this point. It'll have a small hole and then I'm gonna show you how I apply my closure. So this closure is made with lace and it had a lot of excess lace applied to the closure so I had to cut some of that off and then I take some hair glue and a little bit of hairspray and I apply that to the glue and then I just press it into that hole to of course cover up the rest of the weave and I hold that in place before I start to do a lot of manipulation. Here I'm just combing out like the excess hair to make sure it doesn't get glued to the wig. And I'm just going to comb those hairs in place and let this sit for about a minute or two. So when I cut my quick weaves, I like to comb the hair straight down. I don't want to comb it in the direction that I'm going to be styling it later, just to make sure that it's even. I'm going to show you some of the razors that I have. Um, this one came from the hair supply store. This one also came from the hair supply store. Very beginner friendly. But today I'm going to be using something special. It is a heated razor. I got this from a hair show maybe a year ago and I really love this razor. One of the reasons I like to use a heated razor versus the other two options that I showed you is that I noticed that it leaves the hair very silky. I'm not sure if it's the heat. I don't want to get technical and lie to you, but I just like it. <laughs> it leaves the hair really smooth and it lays flat. It's just amazing. It's kind of like it's cutting and styling at the same time. So I want to show you what one side looks like versus the other. As you can see, it lays a lot flatter and the other side is a little more bulky. So I'm just going to continue to cut my sides down. I'm not going to touch the back too much. I'm just going to manipulate the sides, get some of the excess weight out, 
and then I'm going to style with a little bit of styling paste. Now the styling paste I'm going to be using is actually from Europe. I'm not even sure if it's available in the States. Um, but you can use a curling wax. You can use a hair gel. You don't have to be too particular, but I just had this on hand. But I'm just going to show you how well a really good razor cut can just manipulate and change the whole style. Just some pomade, some hair gel, and you are ready to go. It's very simple. And as I said, it is quick. So that is the key to this hairstyle. Quick weave, quick style, very easy. Anyone can do it. So that's it. So this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick weave tutorial. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. And until our next video guys, see you later.